Game week 29 is here, and we're still challenging for the title. We are jumping right into this game against Naval Carnero, and then we'll go do the wrap-up. Okay, we are away at Naval Carnero, and we are coming down to the wire for the season. Uh, my starting 11 for this, uh, Barnabé, Madrigal, Cardozo, Anibo, Martinez, Batanero, Yedai, Pozo, Aqua on the left, Kate on the right, Katala in the up top. No changes to the bench. Literally the same squad as our 1-1 draw from last week. I just don't feel like uh, I can afford to change unless I absolutely need to. Because uh, we played decently. Um, but unfortunately, I don't think that we're... Um, yeah, Tomenishka is playing as well. Uh, Ian. Uh, let's see. Yeah, just enjoy your match. I'm just trying not to put pressure on these guys. Um, yeah, let's always tight marking. Ian, he's a right footer, so let's put close him down, keep him on his left. Lara, he's on his right, so let's put him left, close him down. Para and Tomaneshkov. I don't even think I'm going to put anybody on him honestly oh Kalash as well I want to close him down because I know that he can come forward and he can whip crosses same with uh, Brian Mejia this is a big game here Naval Carnero are no joke uh, I know that they're not exactly the the best team in the league but they are one that I still fear and in a title chase like this you know we're coming down to the wire You just take results. You don't, you know, it doesn't matter how ugly or pretty they are. You just take three points. And that's how I feel about this. Tmenishkov wins it. I don't even know if I'm, am I recording? Yeah, I am. We're good. You know, just making sure OBS is working. Bada. Lara. In. Oh, what a great save by Bernabe. That huh, 0.44, that's how likely, that's an extremely likely chance to score. And uh, Bernabe kept it out. A good block, good block. Who is that? Keita? Great. Oh, come on. I don't feel good about this so far. I really don't. Ian, Tomenishkov's in the middle, the absolute deadliest player in the field. Good block. Madrigal, good poke. What I might even do is uh, I'm going to... Tell him to keep tight on him. I feel like he's getting a little too much space, so I just want to like just close him down. That's a blocked shot. Basically means nothing there. Yeah. Oh man, this is uh, we're getting down to the wire now, and we're getting uh. You know, too close to the title. You know, if this is the moment. These are the kind of moments you start to believe that it's possible. And, um, you know, you just hope that you don't crash back down to reality all of a sudden. You hope that <laughs> those hopes are, are real. You're like, oh, we are actually title contenders and we can actually win it. It's very difficult at any level. David Sanchez. Collage. Blocked it, but it's Lada. Pada. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Get out to Lara, David Sanchez. Should I be uh, closing down hard on uh, David Sanchez? It feels like maybe I should. Oh, great ball over the top. It's Gideon Aqua. We got Katala in the middle. It's blocked. Flicked on. 
and it's wide, but it wasn't really that threatening. Goalkeeper let it go. So. You know what I'm going to? I'm going to tell my guys, close them down, tackle them hard. I'm glad that uh, Anibo and Cardozo are playing really well. Unfortunately, Anibo's got a uh, yellow, but, you know, you can't win everything. That's okay. Pozo. Ibriketa. Come on. It was a bad touch and just lost it immediately. Martinez over the top. Elo. Yeah, just clears it. Para, please do not let them win it. Thank you, Yeti. Ball, ball, ball it. Ball it. Gideon Aquas there. Ball it. Ugh, just not timed well enough. Kalarj is a great right back, by the way. He's uh, definitely a... He's really good. At this league level, he's really... Oh, no. Ball over the top. It's Temenishkov, the deadliest striker. Oh, it's great blocked. And Martinez heads it away. Semenishko, I'm so afraid of him. So afraid. He's so deadly. Pozo. Cardozo couldn't win it. Back to Pozo. Dinks it in. Katala. Oh, it's just over the top. Just over the top. Encourage the team. Come on. We can do it, guys. Lays it off to Martinez. Ball over the top for Ibriketa. Cuts it back. Martinez. Oh, poked away. He's able to get out of the, the cul-de-sac. Batanetto lays it off to Pozo. For the shot. Oh, my God. Incredible. <laughs> Abraham Abraham Pozo. Oh my god. What was that 40 yards out? 35 yards out? Oh my god. Right before halftime. <laughs> wow, with the look at how unlikely that was. Barely a blip. I mean barely a blip in the XG. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Abraham Pozo. Um, I think this is the way to go. Definitely going to make a couple of uh, substitutions at 60 minutes, but... Unbelievable. Abraham Pozo snatches it right before halftime with an incredible strike and hit the underside of the bar. I get it, Cardozo. I get it. It's heel. Ooh, good snatch from Bernabe. Oh my god. I'm telling you right now, that goal just freaked me out. I cannot believe Pozo just absolutely lined it up like that. Oh, Batanero, what are you doing? Good shot. Okay, it's over the top. All right, good top. Good one. Wow, I, that literally freaked me out. Whew. Okay, let's get let's get back. Yet I out to Ibriketa. Yeah. Beat his man on the right side here. Who is this? Mejia. Oh, he rounds him. Oh, it's a long ball over the top, but it's a Madrigal. It's blocked, but it's Katala. Get it! Oh! Almost won the header. Almost got it down. It heals on. So... Lada came off, but oh, is it injury? Potential foot injury. Okay, uh, 
Yeah, let's. Let's uh, yeah, let's keep it a tight mark. I think Madrigal is fast enough to to keep up with these guys. So. Catala's nervous. Interesting. Okay. Paragon. I'm going to put him on. He is a left footer, so we'll just keep on that that side there. I think that's all I'm going to do for now. Uh, you know what? Maybe let's... No, let's throw Pozo on and then uh, switch it around like this. Yeah, let's do this. I think Batanero I'm going to throw as the box of box instead. Let's see how that works out. Encourage the team. Oh, they did not like that. They're not a fan of the encouragement. Collage. Nope, easy. Couldn't get a clean hit on that. Ooh. Barra. Ooh. Oh, off the top. It's headed away. Oh, and Rodal gets it away. Bozo. Yet I. Yeah, we're getting we're getting it right now. We're getting it right now. Should I throw a fluid counter taxi? Colors! Oh my word! Oh no, 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 no. Yeah, we're going to make some subs now. We're, we're forced to make them now. It's 1-1. One, one. Heal. Yeah, win at Rodal. Thank you. Cardozo. Oh! Oh, not a chance. No way. Not a chance. We just blew it. We got to get one back. Wow. Wow, it just slipped from us. Kandul tried to put it through, but it didn't work. Kalarj. I can't believe Kalarj turned this around. A right back? Oh, it's over the top. Katala, finish it. Oh. Yeah, 2-2. Two, two. Oh, my God. Any bow. Are you kidding me? The twists and turns right now. <laughs> oh my god. Don't you dare do this to me, FM. Martin Perez. Hello. Martin Perez. Oh, it's just over the top. Couldn't get it down. Rodau. Anibo. Martinez. Ball in. Oh, uh, the, I didn't. wasn't sure who was going to get that. Pozo or Catala. We did not. We've not played well. Look at this XG difference. It's, you know, a whole goal def, uh, different right now. Less. Whole goal less. Oh, God. Uh. I want to keep attacking. I want to see if we can score one. But, I mean, David Sanchez right now is... Hello! Oh, Bernabe, good save. Holding it there. 2-2. Two, two. We uh, let three points slip. We had to rescue them late on. 
Uh, so that's that wasn't that great, honestly. But uh, we didn't perform well, and it stinks. But let's just go into the next ones and see. Let's see how it uh, all transpires in the the rest of the the game week here. And our first game is a huge upset. It's La Union beating Atletico Madrid B three one, and uh, this is huge for the title, honestly. And it really, really assists me in my title race too. So, uh, gotta be honest, I'm pumped about this. Delgado getting one in five minutes. Diego Bree leveling it uh, ten minutes later here with this uh, nice turning shot. Uh, Ubis gets a sell for penalty. Which, by the way, he's one of the most prolific uh, strikers in this league. He does not get enough uh, credit for the amount of effort that he's been able to put into this team. And uh, Ubis is able to finish off another chance here with a great pass right through the lines, uh, scoring in the 62nd minute. Sam Manchon and the rest of the Casareño squad make Segoviana their next victim in this long, undefeated run. And Simon Menchon again with the great free kick. Klaus C with the penalty. And Acuna was able to bring one back in two minutes after the penalty uh, by hitting the underside of the bar on a header. But it wouldn't matter. Simon Menchon would score his second for the game in the 33rd minute. And it would stay like that for the rest of the game. Casadeño 3, Segoviana 1. This is... A thrilling 3-2 victory for Don Benito coming back from behind after having blown a lead earlier in the game. Uh, as you can see, Herrera scores a beautiful free kick. Segovia with a nice placed finish with the side foot for 35 minutes, and that's how it goes into halftime. But after that, 66 minutes in, Lobos take the lead. Segovia laying it off for Alber with a beautiful finish across the goalkeeper there and in desperity or through desperate measures really Don Benito get two goals from Domingo a, a, <laughs> incredible uh, incredible it was saved by the goalkeeper but unlucky flight of the ball that just takes it still into the side netting uh, to make it level at 73 but late on 87 minutes in Alberto Hill puts a ball in and Domingo heads it down and wins it for them to keep their hopes alive for promotion. Malia destroy Leganes 3-1 in a much needed win to survive relegation here. Leganes were absolutely garbage. This is the only shot they had. Dorian Jr. scored a great header at 17 minutes but with two penalties from Miguel Garcia and another goal from Cano. I mean, it was never really in doubt. They only had one shot and Malia were able to procure 24 shots, 8 on target. Their expected XG was 3.22. Los Vianos are victim to the new manager bounce, or actually lack thereof. They still have a caretaker manager, but nonetheless, Cordia fired their manager after last week's nil-nil draw to Sardinola. Deco opens it up in 23 minutes, and Luis Macero scores from the spot 57 minutes into the game. Nene rounds it off the three points with the third goal uh, in the 63 minutes into the game. And it's a nice, comfortable victory for the home side. And we have a really surprising result. Estepona 4, Alcorcón 3. Uh, to be honest, I don't really understand how Estepona was able to allow this game to get out of hand, really, and concede three, three goals to by far the worst team in the league. Nepo scores it early in eight minutes, and then Guerrero starts off eight minutes, uh, just a nightmare eight minutes for Alcorcón. Uh, scores one in the 26th. Frodo bags a brace, one in the 29th minute, and the other one in the 33rd minute. This all being said, Estepona needed this win way more than Alcorcón did. Alcorcón is, even though they're not mathematically relegated, they might as well be by now. But Estep Estepona really needed it for the top of the table people push. They're trying to go for the title. They're trying to get promotion. They need the points every which way they can get them. And uh, yeah, I think they just lost their, con uh, their, their concentration a little bit. The game went into halftime three to two. And then Alka Cone's true colors came out with a really bad error with the goalkeeper. 
And defense, Pina was able to capitalize on that 52 minutes into the game. And then finally, uh, Alcorcon was able to score their third goal, 75 minutes in, uh, from poor defensive play from the home side. Dio Cassano get three massive points. They needed this if they're going to save themselves from relegation. Javi Gonzalez scores from point blank range, and they won't care. And this game. This game is really a testament of Atletico Paso. They had their title chances flash before their eyes with a sloppy goal conceded. It's 11 minutes in, Teachea able to put it away for Guadalajara, who they're trying to save themselves from relegation. However, the quality came out. Aradon scoring 64 minutes into the game to level it up, but they needed, the t they needed that push. They needed to get it over the line. Bolaños, 92nd minute, is able to get a ball over the top and put it past the keeper. And here we are after 29 games. Uh, I am still top, uh, even though I got a draw, uh, a 2-2 draw here. So I'm at 51 points now. Atletico Paso, 1. Estepona, 1. Uh, Don Benito, 1. Uh, and I think Atletico Madrid was the only one that did not actually... Yes, so the only one that dropped. So, that be, that being said, um, yeah, you know, the gap between me and the pack have, has closed. I'm now only one point up, and we're still, this is still such a close, close race. Uh, Castaneda, for whatever reason, still can't crack into that top five to get into the playoff spots, um, no matter how much they win. But... Uh, but the distance between sit first and sixth is four points at the moment, so it is still very, very tight. If you just get a loss, you're dropping at least a minimum of two to three places uh, with this current affair here. Uh, going into seventh, Correa finally got they got their win. They just broke that uh, that long winless run that they had after having fired their coach. They had 45 points, so they're only three from the playoff spots. Uh, Vienna Vens seem like they're pretty much out of it. Uh, they only got five games left to play, uh, and they need, you know, what should we call it? Uh, mm, call it, oh my God, my math is so bad. Uh, call it five points left. So tough ask uh, considering their spot. Adardve uh, are even worse position. I have probably committed themselves to ninth or tenth, depending. Sequoia Moses is only a point behind them and 39 points. Naval Carnero is 37 points in 11th place. They are five points from safety with five left to go. Malia, big, big win over Legan SB. They're in 12th, the 12th spot, 36 points, four from safety. And that uh, that win over Legan SB is big for them. They really needed that. Guadalajara blew a lead against Atletico Paso after having given it 11 minutes to the game. And uh, unfortunately, they were not even able to get a point. To, to keep themselves. So now, Dio Cassano, after their win over Sardinola, the 1-0, like, just ugly win, late on, 83 minutes in, they're now tied on points. It makes it very, very precarious for Guadalajara. Segoviana, also, they're at 30 points, so they're only two points back. They're still alive. They're still kicking. Legan SB, four points back, a little harder to come back now that, now that's, you know, less games to play. Sardinola, essentially, are done, 25 points. Alcarcon B are just light years away. They're 13 points out and uh, pretty much done and dusted at this point. So I don't really have anything else for you guys yet. Let's just preview the next results here. Uh, let's just see what we're we're go facing in uh, so far. Atletico Madrid B at home to Leganes B. This should be an easy win for Atleti, but uh, you never know. So that's why we play the games. So they got that one. Alcarcon B at home to Atletico Paso. Another freebie. What should be a freebie for Atletico Paso. Serdinola at home to Guadalajara. A huge match. Serdinola is essentially done. And Guadalajara need points badly. They need them immediately. And they're on the road to a relegation fodder team. Don Benito at home to Dio Cassano. Both teams need points for the opposite reasons. Uh, again, Dio Cassano should lose. They're on the road to a very difficult side. Estepona at home to Adarve, a team that doesn't really have anything to play for. They're pretty much going to be the mid-table team now, considering they're eight points from they're eight points from both promotion and relegation. Uh, 
Malia at home to Nava Carnero. Another one. Nava Carnero is essentially safe. They're five points. It's not it's not mathematically safe. I mean they're you know, considering, but they got a little bit of a cushion. Malia need still need the points though, because they're only four points. And uh, you know, you never know. You just never know. That 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 gap will probably come up. They probably got another four or five points for that gap to, to slide back up. Montillo, my team at home to Sequamos. We need points. We need them now. We need to keep the, the title push because as I mentioned, there's uh Alcacom B at home to Paso and Atletico Madrid B against Leganes B. So there's going to be a couple teams up there. They're pretty much going to get a guaranteed win. Vieno Vens at home to Casareño. Uh, that is going to be definitely a difficult team. You would expect Casareño, their run of form, to win, but Vieno Vens are not like a pushover team either. Uh, Segovian at home to Coria, another one. Team that just, maybe they have the new set of form ready to go. Segovian needs the points. So everybody's going to be playing for that one. But uh, that is it. That's going into game week 20. Uh, and you know what? I think probably at the end of next game week, now that we hit game week 20, I think we're just, I'm just going to give you guys really like a, a, let's just look at who, like look at the last run of games. You know, I'm going to go into the scheduling and say like, hey, here are the big games. These are the things to look out for because we're really coming down to the wire now. And uh, yeah, I mean, it is crazy. I, again, can't believe I'm in the uh, the title push right now. Cannot believe it. I don't believe it myself. Uh, and I'm also worried because we got two draws in a row. Sequamos, I need I need this win because that, then I'm going to take on big, big teams. Don Benito, Casareño, Atletico Madrid, being Estepona. We're going through the gauntlet for, you know, the last se- uh, section of the season here. So, uh, thank you. I hope you're enjoying this. I very much am. I literally cannot believe that we're doing this. We were supposed to be, uh, the expectation was supposed to be uh, top half, as you can see here with the club vision. Uh, just get top half. I mean, we're good. Pay within the, the payroll budget. There was never an ability to do that. Uh, sign, sign the play as well. Whatever. Uh, but yes, again, we're going to go into, was it game week 30 now? Yeah, game week 30. We're going to game week 30. So uh, I hope you enjoyed. My name is Jack City. And uh, yeah, Montejo Madness.